I want to start this week 16 out thanking all of our partners. Partners, thank you for helping us do what God has commissioned us to do all over this world, and that is to teach people just how much God loves them, just how much He's for them, and just how much He wants them to know who they are in Jesus Christ, their Lord and Savior. Thank you. I pray Mark 10, 29, and 30 over you, over everything that you sow into this ministry. Thank you. Thank you for all that you're doing, all that you have done, and all that you're going to do in the future to help us further God's kingdom. Glory to God. Now, this has been 16. This is the start of 16 weeks that we've been on this study. This is the, this is the last week of the fourth month that we've been in this study. Can you believe we've been in this this long and and every day, five days a week in this study, growing in who we are in Jesus Christ? You get stronger and stronger every day. The the more that you study these scriptures, and I want to encourage you, if this is the, the first or the second week or the fourth week that you've been on this study, go back to June the 21st of 2021 and get in this study with us and, and, and go through the complete study and find out who you are. Because I promise you, if you'll find out who you are, it will, it'll completely change your outlook on your Christian life. I'm, I am convinced. I don't, I don't think it. I don't, I don't uh, you know, think, well, maybe this is the problem. I'm convinced that the, that the church as a whole is lacking this one thing, and that is knowing who they are and who they have been promised they are through, his, through God's Word, that, that, they are, that they are strong in Him, that they come to know that and understand that. I, I, I'm, I'm convinced people don't know that. If, they, if the church knew who they were in Jesus Christ and the promises that God has made them through His Word, I promise you, we, we, would, we would see the world, we would see the world born again in just a short period of time. They, people don't know it, though. They're defeated. They're walking in fear and, and torment and con- condemnation and shame. Because they they walk around trying to do things on their own, trying to live a Christian life on their own. And I promise you, if I, if I know anything about my life in the last six or seven years, I know that, that this knowledge that I'm giving you on these, on these uh, studies has changed my life. And I know if it changed mine, it will change yours. Now, let's see what what we can find out this week about who we are in Him. I do these prayers every time I do this podcast for a reason. I want the world to know and see and understand what Paul wanted for the Ephesians, for their eyes to be open to the love and the mercy and the grace and the goodness that God has for them. And, you know, we can have that for ourselves. We can see what God wants for us. And it's in His Word. It's in His truths that He has written down for us to dwell in and to walk in. Ephesians 1.15 says, Ever since I first heard of your strong faith in the Lord Jesus and your love for God's people everywhere, I have not stopped thanking God for you. I pray for you constantly, asking God, the glorious Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, to give you spiritual wisdom and insight so that you might grow in your knowledge of God. I pray that your hearts will be flooded with light so that you can understand the confident hope He has given to those He called, His holy people, who are His rich and glorious inheritance. I also pray that you will understand the incredible greatness of God's power for us who believe him. This is the same mighty power that raised Christ from the dead and seated him in the place of honor at God's right hand in the heavenly realms. Now he is far above any ruler or authority or power or leader or anything else, not only in this world, but also in the world to come. God has put all things under the authority of Christ and has made him head over all things for the benefit of the church. And the church is his body. It is made full and complete by Christ who fills all things everywhere with himself. Ephesians 3, 14 says, When I think of all this, I fall to my knees and pray to the Father, the creator of everything in heaven and on earth. 
I pray that from His glorious unlimited resources, He will empower you with inner strength through His Spirit. Then Christ will make His home in your hearts as you trust in Him. Your roots will grow down into God's love and keep you strong. And may you have the power to understand, as all God's people should, how wide, how long, how high, and how deep His love is. May you experience the love of Christ, though it is too great to understand fully. Then you will be made complete with all the fullness of life and power that comes from God. Now all glory to God who is able through his mighty power at work within us to accomplish infinitely more than we might ask or think. Glory to him in the church and in Christ Jesus through all generations forever and ever. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. I thank God that he has opened my eyes to that love. And that is my earnest prayer for every person that walks face of this earth, that they get their eyes open to that love. You know, he opens my eyes more and more to his love and his mercy and his grace and his goodness for me every day. And he does it through his word. Let's see what God's word has to say today. Father, I thank you and I praise you, God, for your word. Guide me. Use me for your honor and your glory. Help me be the light and the vessel, Lord, that you can shine through, that you can speak through today. Lord, touch my mind. Touch my mouth. Help me be the light that, Lord, that you would have me to be, the vessel that you can use every day of my life. Lord, guide me. Direct me, Lord, and I'll forever give you all the praise and glory for it all. Lord, thank you for all that you're doing in this podcast, in my life, in the people's lives that are listening to this podcast lives. Lord, I thank you and I praise you for all you have done, all you're going to do, and all that, that you have are, are about to do in this podcast today. In Jesus' holy name I pray, amen. Let's go to uh, skip down. We were in Colossians 2 and 3 yesterday. Let's skip down to the 11th verse. The 11th verse, it says, Whom, in whom, and let let me tell you, in Jesus also you are circumcised with the circumcision made without hands in putting off the body of sin of flesh by the circumcision of Christ. And what is that? You say, well, what is that circumcision? That circumcision is of the heart. That circumcision is of of the inner man being reborn. Be, being reborn. That's being born again, being having your heart circumcised. In other words, having your heart changed through accepting Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. You know, I, I ask people... Uh, to be born again every time I do this podcast. And I don't know that that a lot of the world that we live in realize what being born again really is. And this, this, this verse is talking about it. It's being renewed on the inside, our, our inner man, our spirit man being reborn into what God wanted for us in the beginning. I mean, uh, he started out with Adam and Eve in the garden, and they had full control over over the, everything that went on and gave it away, gave it away to the devil when they done what God, the only thing that God told them not to do. Literally, they had one thing that they couldn't do, and they done it anyway. And they lost that, 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 uh, that closeness with God. They died spiritually. And when Jesus came, he bought that privilege back for us. He gave us an opportunity to be born again today, to be born again today, to to, uh, be renewed on the inside, to be redeemed from the sin that we had had so just, I mean, just so uh, badly walked away from. I, I, I just, you know, I can't put that in words sometimes, what God has done in my life. I, I mean, I really can't. When, when God saved me years ago, I went 25 years and didn't know what really what God had done in my life. Literally, I was in my mid-40s. I was born again in my early 20s, but I was in my mid-40s before I realized what salvation really was a renewing of your heart and your mind and, and, and all the things that, that 
that pertains to, to life being set free through the truths of what God had done for us. And that's part, that's, part, that's part of being born again. See, I, was, I, I, I lived the biggest part of my life not knowing what God had done for me. I knew I was saved. I knew that God had, had done what he'd done in my life, done a work in my life. But I didn't know that, that uh, what he done in my life had changed me the way it had. I didn't know that I could take God's word and, and, and believe it. For myself, for myself, I could believe it for you or or somebody else out here in this world, but I just couldn't bring myself to believe it for myself. I mean, it's it's amazing how many years I I lived not knowing that the circumcision of my heart had given me the the uh, a way to be godly, to become the righteousness of God. I didn't know that I was the righteousness of God in Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. And I spent two, over two decades living not knowing that. That's what this study's all about. That's what this podcast is all about, is to teach you how much God loves you, how much He, he cares for you, how much He wants to show you what he has done in your life. And how's he, you say, well, how's he going to do that? How's he going to change my life? How's he going to straighten me out and, 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 and so I can see things? Well, he's going to do it by you getting in his word and finding out just what God has done in you if you're born again. I mean, it's, it, it's sad how many people that are born again that don't know that the work that God has done in their life. You know, yesterday we talked about having the mind of Christ. You know, today we talked about that we're the righteousness of God in Him, in Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. There's there's millions don't know that. There's millions that don't know if they'll just they'll just read what God says about them in in His Word. They can find out what He has really done. We've been circumcised in the heart. Our heart has been changed. Our inner man has been born again through faith in Jesus Christ, through the redemption that he died to give us. And all we've got to do is believe it. I want to encourage you today to download this this list of scriptures that's on our podcast Download those scriptures so that, so that you can go through these scriptures and read those things out loud to yourself. Go back and listen to the podcast that, that, that started it all on June 21st, 2021, and, and go through this study with us. And then study those scriptures for yourself. Put your name in them. Put your name in them. To, to, so that so that you can place yourself in what God has said about you, because all those scriptures are written about born again children of God. You, do you see what I'm saying? God wants us to get hold of and understand that if we will find out who we are in Him, our lives will be transformed. Completely transformed. What does the Bible say in in Romans 12 and 2 that says, Be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed. How? By the renewing of your mind. And and I'm going to add to that. And I don't, you know, I'm not telling you that this is what that verse said, but uh, that by the renewing of your mind of who you are in Jesus Christ, what God's word says, and and, and renew your mind to the truths of that word. Do you, find, do you follow what I'm saying? If you'll find out who you are in Jesus Christ and, and how strong you can be in Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior, then you can help someone else that's out here in this world struggling. You can help somebody else overcome their weaknesses by finding out who you are. There's millions of Christians that do their best to help people. They do. They, they, they do their best, dead-level best to help people when they, they really need to be finding out who they are so they, that they can teach others who Jesus Christ can make them when they give Him their heart and life in salvation. 
You see what I'm saying? If we know who we are in Jesus Christ, we can build God's kingdom like it's never been built before. I'm serious. When you find out who God's who who you are in Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior, you will find out what God wants you to do in his kingdom to get people born into his kingdom. And if you'll start listening to that mind that you've been given, uh, that renewed mind, and and listening to your heart and to the Holy Spirit that guides your heart, and 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 listening to what God's word says, then you can see somebody on the street and say, I need to speak to them. I, or you can see your family member that's that's off astray somewhere and, and God will open a door and you say, I know how to speak to them now. I've never been able to talk to them about, about their salvation, but today I'm going to be able to speak to them. Why? Because you listened. Because your heart's been renewed and you've renewed your mind to agree with your heart and, and then you're able to listen to the Holy Spirit that will will give you what you need to say and do to that person. See, there's millions out here on the, in, this, in this world that we live in that need help. They need help. And I can only talk to whoever listens to this podcast. But you can talk to some of those people that will never listen to this podcast. You can be that light and that vessel that you can shine, that, that God can shine through you out here in this world, that you can be a light to those people that somebody else could never be. I tell the guys at the jail a lot, I'll probably every time I go in there, look, you can talk to these guys in this in this pod because you're in here with them 24-7. They'll never come to my table and listen to listen to what I've got to say. But you can take what I'm telling you and and give it to somebody else so that they can be born again. You see what I'm saying? We've we've got all, we've all got a place in God's kingdom. Every one of us has got a place in his kingdom. Every one of us wants to or needs to allow that that renewed heart, that circumcised heart to be filled with God's word and renew their mind to to what God is is wanting them to find out about themselves and and when they do that then that tool that that God has has just perfectly made for you to use that that situation that he that only you can work in you're you're that tool he he can fit you right into that situation that you can be a light to somebody that would never ever listen to anybody else that's what God wants us to know that's the reason God wants us to know who we are in Jesus Christ because when we find out who we are in Jesus Christ, we'll find out what we need to be doing in this world to further his kingdom, to strengthen his kingdom, to see people born into his kingdom through salvation, through realizing and understanding who God really is in their life and what he wants to do in their life. Now, I've got a question for you today. Are you born again? Are you listening to this podcast or, or have you been listening to this podcast for, for three years now, but you've never made Jesus Lord of your life? He wants to do that for you today, and it's very easy. Now, I'm going to ask you another question. Do you believe God is who he says he is? Do you believe that God done what he said he done and he sent, God, sent Jesus down here to die on the cross for your sins and to be raised on the third day for your justification? Do you believe that? Because if you do, you're one step away from being born again. All you have to do is confess Jesus as Lord of your life out loud. That's all you have to do. Because if you believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you're one step away from it. Confess him today. Romans 10 and 9 said, If thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus... And shall believe in thine heart that God has raised him from the dead. It says, thou shalt be saved. It says, for with the heart man believes unto righteousness. And with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. That's all it takes to be born again. That's all it takes to be saved. That's all it takes to be saved. Won't you be born again today? Won't you make Jesus Christ your Lord and Savior today? Give him your heart and your life. 
I promise you, he'll change your life like it's never been changed before. Hey, if you're listening to this podcast, go to our website. Get in touch with us. It's the dash prodigalson.com. I want to hear from you. I want to hear what God is doing in your life. I want to hear what you need him to do in your life. I Listen to me. If you've got a prayer request, send it to me. Send it to me. I want to send you scriptures that you and I both can stand on and agree on that God's going to answer your prayer. He wants to answer your prayer. He probably already has answered your prayer. If you can get this word that I'll send you, I want to help you understand and agree with God's word about that prayer request. Because I promise you, there's scripture in there that addresses it. And if we'll receive what God has already done for us, we can see those prayer requests answered. Send me your prayer request today. It's the-prodigalson.com. Now listen to me. Partners, thank you. I want to thank all the partners of this ministry for all that they do sowing into this ministry, helping us do what God has commissioned us to do. And that is to give his word away free of charge to anybody that'll listen. Oh, I thank God for faithful partners that do just that. Partners, I pray Mark 10, 29, and 30 over you today. A hundredfold return on everything that you sow into this ministry. Thank you. Thank you so much for all that you do. Now, if you're not a partner, whether you're a partner or whether you're not, sow these podcasts into your social media. Share them on your social media so others can be set free. But if you're not a partner, pray about becoming a partner. Pray about what God would have you to do to sow into his kingdom today. Go to our website. Get in touch with us. It's the-prodigalson.com.